The danger from a falling space satellite is now over. Two huge pieces of space junk fell from the sky overnight over the Pacific Ocean. We don't know exactly where, but it appears to be far from people and buildings. CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano has more. Elaine, good morning to you. We are in the clear. In the clear. Uh, good morning to you, Nancy. Throughout the weekend, overnight, there was wide speculation as to where this satellite would land. In France, an amateur astronomer caught this footage of the defunct NASA research satellite. And overnight, this video was captured over Los Angeles of the satellite's apparent descent to Earth. Launched in 1991 to study the ozone layer, NASA has confirmed that the six-ton upper atmosphere research satellite crashed down early Saturday morning. No exact location is yet known, but most is believed to have fallen into the Pacific Ocean or burned up as it re-entered Earth atmosphere. It is the biggest NASA spacecraft to fall back to Earth uncontrolled since 1979. But space debris crashing back to Earth, surprisingly, is not a rare occurrence. This is not an unusual event because we have about, you know, say, 20 to 40 of these things a year coming down. This one's a little large, but we've had larger come down also. Man-made space debris falls to Earth all the time, but the odds that a piece of this satellite could have hit any one person on the planet were minuscule, just one in 21 trillion. We've had um, over the last 40 some years of, or 50 years, whatever it is, of uh, putting things into space, we have had a lot of debris come down, sometimes 100 objects a year or more. Uh, we've had only one person brushed on the shoulder by a very light piece of debris in all that time. And thankfully this time, this falling satellite has apparently fallen safely out of harm's way. Now, that's not always the case. In 1997, a Tulsa woman was walking in the park when there was a fiery streak across the sky and something hit her on the shoulder, but she wasn't hurt. It turned out to be a piece of an old Delta II rocket. Nancy? Elaine Gijano, thank you so much.